This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so so we got this whole thing with Diddy going on with Tupac, and you know Eminem even alluded to this in his MGK desk years ago, where he said, uh, "Will Diddy ever uh, admit that he got Tupac shot?" But uh, Fifty Cent double backs on his uh, claims that he doesn't like Diddy. Because he set up Pac. That's why I won't be going. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the other one. I hate when they leave me to talk because I always say the wrong thing. I always say the wrong thing. Last time I left me, I said something about Puck. You saw that? You saw that thing? Yeah! I gotta stop doing that kind of shit. I gotta, I've, been, I've been talking to a uh, therapist. He going crazy, bro. <laughs> Keeping that pressure on Diddy. Meanwhile, Diddy's trying to show pictures of his new baby girl uh, taking her first steps. Then we got ETL Jacob was saying uh, Kanye West has done more for hip hop than Tupac. Someone said something along the lines of, uh, what is it? Kanye West has done more for hip hop than Tupac. Facts, he says. But then he tweeted support for Tupac saying, I seen, I never seen another Tupac, but I seen a hundred Kanye's influences brazy. He said something earlier that like kind of had his mind changed a little bit. I, I, you know, I don't know, man. For the dogs is updated to less. It's, now it's on pace to only do four, 420 K the first week. Now that it's getting such bad reviews, <laughs> I think less people are checking it out. Um, still, that's a lot, bro. That's like more albums than a lot of people have sold and <laughs> at all this year, you know? But uh, anyways, Charlemagne defends Drake and says, I think the criticism for Drake is way too harsh, even though he's been dissing Charlemagne. But I don't know. Why can't you criticize art? You know, like... It, the album's not that great. People were, the hype was there. I don't think Charlamagne followed the hype, and I think that he's always going to go against the opinion most of the time because it's good for conversation. It'll get more people engaging. He knows. He knows. Now, uh, you know, Gilly responded to Birdman saying, uh, you know, I'm more I'm more influential than you now. I'm more I'm bigger than you now. Pipe down. Twenty five years later, you're commenting on our problems. Get over it. Then we had Vlad. So Vlad put up this post. Man, is this it right here? Where is it? Vlad, oh no, it's over here. Sorry. DJ Vlad put up this post. Let me put it on the screen. He's criticizing Khaled and Drake for not saying anything was going on in Israel, right? Or whatever's going on, you know. He says, has anyone noticed the most famous Jewish people, uh, person on earth, Drake? And the most famous Palestinian person on earth, Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza-Israel conflict. It's not like Drake is too busy. He's been writing paragraphs about Joe Budden. But DJ Khaled has been working overtime promoting his new Jordan sneakers, but both of them have been silent on the topic. Why is that? It's because both are so thirsty to maintain their relevance that they wouldn't dare risk insulting a segment of their fan base. Heaven, uh, heaven forbid that Drake might debut number two behind Taylor Swift because some Palestinian fans choose to not stream his album. Well, maybe if he says something, him and uh, him and Khaled won't be friends anymore. That uh, I'm just saying. Okay, it doesn't matter. But 
He says, and it would be the end of the world if Khaled sold a few less sneakers because some Jewish people decided not to buy his Jordans. So, so Vlad wants these guys to voice their opinion and, 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 and just beef with people in America over a crisis that's happening halfway across the world. That's the difference between artists today, timeless legends like Tupac. You know damn well, but Pac couldn't got canceled back then. There was no social media. It would have felt like that one week and his album would have come out a year later and then they would have, would have forgot about it. People in the comments roasting Vlad saying they don't need to respond to anything. They aren't, they aren't politicians last time I checked. He says you want Drake and DJ Khaled to be spokesmen of a conflict that has been alive for thousands of years. This is a conflict that will never be resolved. It's gone on for thousands of years. You think it's going to end today? Come on. Uh, Pac dead because of his affiliations. Let's not pretend Pac is a political hero. Okay, wow. That's someone going crazy with that. This is true for that. Drake doesn't speak on anything meaningful. Does he have to? Come on, man. Someone said focus on yourself. The only people that need to speak on that stuff are elected officials. That's their job. Just because he's Jewish doesn't mean he's Israeli, though. His mom was uh, French, French Jewish. Hence, they ended up in Canada. DJ Vlad really wants to stir the pot with this. What has he said on this? I'm sure he has his opinions. Let's see. Anyways, Vlad is just sometimes I, I, I respect what he does and everything, but like he gets too into all this. <sighs> Anyways, uh, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys. I'll check you on the next one. Uh, peace. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button.